Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to be doing a video on uh, something that should help out some people with problems with Google Wi-Fi and a few other places. So as far as that goes, I, I got Google Wi-Fi um, and, and I've been playing around with it last night and apparently they don't allow you to change your IP scheme. Um, it's been requested, I've requested, I know other people have requested that feature so maybe it will happen in the future but uh, not likely because google seems not care about stuff on youtube and other places so who knows well here's the thing is with google um, wi-fi you cannot change the ip scheme but i probably have a fix around that so if, if you don't want to manually go to each camera so as far as things goes what, what happens on the um, cameras is is uh most people with security cameras in fact almost everybody with security cameras with wireless security cameras you're going to have to have a wire a, a static ip address uh, that way the security software can actually see the cameras itself knows how to communicate to the cameras itself um, and if you don't know anything about IP schemes or whatever, just check out some of my other videos. I get into that, and probably this is not the video for you, so I'll see you in another video. But as far as that goes, um, what Google Wi-Fi, it, it forces you to do a 192.168.85 or 86 dot whatever, Whereas the average is uh, 192 wants to say one dot whatever, and some people change that to 10 zero zero uh, whatever. So as far as that goes, a possible solution to this problem, so you don't have to manually go to each camera. Well, I have a uh, link down below. It's this uh, Dropbox share file. Feel free to check out all the files through it. But go to the IP camera area. If you got a Mac, go to that. I don't really know much about uh, that, so, you know, whatever. See you on that. Uh, there's a manual down here, so, yeah. But what you need to go to is the P2P ID Finder software. Install the ActiveX and go to the P2P ID Finder. Um, it's not going to show up here because I, I, um, I'm not allowing it. I got multiple cards and whatever, and... This one's not connected to the internet. So as far as this goes, uh, basically what happens is if you try to go through the web access, uh, web browser side, uh, what I found is you can't really connect to the IP camera itself. So you'll have to manually go to the IP camera, either reset it or use a software like this, uh, manually going through the stuff. Well, what I found on accident while I was setting up my cameras to talk to the uh, the security uh, server, well, apparently, if you're on the Google Wi-Fi or whatever thing that doesn't allow you to change the IP scheme, well, apparently, the cameras will show up down here, given that you're connected with the computer. And, um, and what would end up happening is you can actually change it from here. That's just something cool. Instead of you having to go to the cameras itself, manually go to the cameras, maybe get out a ladder or whatever, whatever, bring your laptop up and have to manually go through it, that method, you can actually just connect to the Wi-Fi. As long as the SSID, the Wi-Fi name and password is the same as before, so it's trying to connect to it in the first place. As long as that's the case, it will show up here most of the time. I, I mean, there's no absolute guarantee on this, but it will show up here. And what you can do is you just select it and change the IP address and the gateway. So for me, it'll be change it from one to 86 on the IP address and the gateway. And, um, and basically just click apply and put in the username and password. Now, uh, the buttons are going to be having question marks on the, uh, when you click apply, you, the left button is the submit and the right button is cancel. So note that, so it, it's not too much out of the way, but you know, it's, it's might, might help you out on that. So again, 
pull up this software after you install that stuff. Pull up the software. Make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi that, that this stuff will be trying to connect to. It will show up here. Click on it. Change the IP address, the one to whatever it needs to be, or, or, or the main IP address to whatever it needs to be, and the uh, gateway to whatever it needs to be. Save it uh, by pressing apply, put in the username and password for the camera, and then uh, click the uh, left button, and that's that. Um, and, and as long as uh, that's the only thing that needs to be changed, well, that that's literally it. That's It's that simple. Uh, obviously, if, if there's a little bit extra, then you'll have to go into the camera itself. But anyways, I hope that helps out someone. Um, I know that I spent hours trying to manually go to the cameras, and, and I had some outside cameras, and it was like 30 degrees, and I'm not going outside in 30 degrees with a laptop and a metal ladder so um and, and night when it's trying to um snow and stuff so um this was kind of nice to find that out pretty easily now one real quick thing is if um you did change your password the wi-fi password what you can do is like with google wi-fi or whatever uh tell it it uh, give it the old password and that way the thing will connect, then change whatever proper settings that you need uh, to get into the camera, change the password on the camera to whatever the new password be. Then like on Google Wi-Fi or whatever, change the password back to the new stuff and, and everything. Like th there might be a little uh, glitch there as things are trying to connect back, but within an hour, everything will be back to normal. Or uh, if someone's having problems, just tell them to, to uh, try to reconnect to stuff. But um, as far as that goes, uh, hopefully that helps someone. If it, if it does, leave a like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you want the next video to be on, and I'll see you then.